What's going on you guys, Frost here, and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be talking about the changes to my builds on Echo, Diana and Nidalee, because Riot changed the AP jungle item. I will start off with Echo. I will still start with a Hunter's Machete, two health potions and a Warding Trinket, into Trailblazer's upgrade and boots. After that I'll get the Runeglaive enchantment and the cooldown reduction boots. This now no longer offers you 40% cooldown reduction, it will only go up to 30%. This is still a good enough amount for me, but if you want to have that 40% cooldown reduction, you can just adapt your runes to have 10% cooldown reduction in it. After this, you will rush Azonias, and now instead of getting Lichbane, I'll just get a Death Cap into a Void Staff and finish that off with a Ludens. And as a final thing, I'll sell my boots for a Will of the Ancients to get that spell vamp. Now, you could sell your jungle item for a Lichbane, but I won't do that because I think it actually gives more value to have Rune Glaive because it gives mana sustain and the AoE effect. Lichbane is only a bigger amount of damage onto just one target. Now for Diana. I will start with a Hunter's Machete, two health potions and a Warding Trinket as well. Then turn this into Trailblazer's upgrade with some boots on your first back. Now you finish your Rune Glaive enchantment and get yourself some Sorks. Right after finishing your boots rush into Azonias. Yes we are back to the Zonias since Ludens got nerfed again recently. I've been trying out both, again Zonias is just overall better. It allows you to survive teamfights and skirmishes when you dive in, and also allows you to engage a fight with it. Right after Zonias you'll get yourself a death cap into a void staff, and finishing this build off with a Ludens. And this is the final build. Now if you prefer a more single target damage instead of AoE damage, swap out your jungle item for a Lichbane in the very late game. And now finally for Nidalee. The following build change is only for the melee build, the ranged poke build one doesn't change. The start still remains the same with Machete, two health potions and a warding trinket. You then turn this into a Trailblazers upgrade and some boots. I do still get the Trailblazers upgrade on Nidalee because it just helps you out in clearing your jungle. And it's not like you're lacking any kind of damage when you're ganking. After this you finish off your jungle item with a Runeglaive enchant and turning your boots into Sorks. Right after this you start building into a rod. If you're wondering why I get Sorks before Rod now, it's because with Rune Glaive, the next basic attack will become full magic damage, so Magic Band actually massively increases your damage, making you stronger in the early game. After you finish your Rod, you build yourself a Zonias to help you with surviving when you go deep into the enemy team, as you are quite squishy. After Zonias, you want to get yourself a Death Cap and a Void Staff. The order in which you get it in it depends on the enemy's team magic resist at that point in the game. And you finish this build off by selling your boots for a Ludens. I get Ludens to replace boots because Ludens gives movement speed. As you can see in all of these builds I don't get a Lichbane anymore. Because compared to Runeglyph, Lichbane just doesn't cut it. The main reason for this is the fact that Runeglyph gives you AoE proc and Lichbane is just a single target one. But if you prefer the single target damage over the AoE damage then by all means sell your Runeglyph for a Lichbane as a final step in each build. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you've enjoyed it please remember to leave a like and share it with your friends. If you would like to see more videos from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!